Hey everybody, Pastor Eric here in front of Grace River and our sanctuary on a, a gorgeous Colorado day. Want to invite you, very excited about the series we're starting. It's our summer series in the book of Acts. Acts is such a unique book uh, to scripture and really to the Christian life. It is the story of the early church, the start and the story. It's where, it's the only book in scripture where we see Jesus and the apostles. Jesus brought the gospel, the good news, the, the power of God and taught the apostles to share that with people. Acts is the story of Jesus ascending into heaven and empowering and equipping the apostles and the early church, the earliest followers, the, the disciples like you and me, equipping them with the power, with the authority, with the truth of the gospel, the, the apostolic message of the good news of the love of God and the forgiveness of Christ and the new life in him today. I want to invite you to join us in that way. Um, two ways to join us really is, of course, Sunday morning worship service. Please join us for in service, in person, or on the live stream. We're starting the series this Sunday, Acts chapter 1. Another cool way we're hoping to make it a summer of Acts is we want to read the book. Um, together as a community of faith a couple times over. So whether you live in Colorado Springs or you're live streaming and live in Florida, as some of you do, would you join reading with us? We actually have an app that you can download called GroupMe. Some of our KLCs use it to read scripture and interact together. And we're gonna, uh, if you wanna download, we'll put a link below this video. And we're gonna start this Monday, July 6th, on Acts chapter one, and you can interact once you read, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have thoughts, those kind of things. The staff will, will try and chime in every once in a while, but just a way of reading together, journeying together, and asking questions. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, and it po has the potential to be life transforming, faith transforming, as we see how the early church was figuring it out, getting it wrong sometimes, getting it right sometimes, and the Spirit of God teaching them and transforming them all the way through. I th hope that dynamic happens in us today, 21st century Christians. Thanks, and we'll see ya Sunday and possibly Monday. God bless.